Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to continue my discussion on MySQL. And in today's video, I am going to cover how to create, update and delete record in MySQL using .NET 6. This is going to be a short video, but this is going to cover the update, delete and create operations which I did not cover in my previous video. So in my previous video, what I did is I showed how to select data from MySQL using store procedure and inline queries. And today's video will be mainly focused on inline queries. So let's first cover what do we have to do to create new data. And in the MySQL studio, we have two records right now, user one and user two. We are going to add another user into this data set. So for that, what we can do is we can use similar parameters and connection objects. So none of this is going to change. But here, instead of a store procedure, we are going to use inline queries. And for insert, we are going to say insert into users and we're going to insert name, email, and address. And for values, we can say at the rate name, at the rate email, and at the rate address. That's about it. And for the parameter here, Instead of identifier, we can pass name, which is a string, and we can say name three. And similarly, we're going to have email. Name three at the rate. And then for address let's so say that's our parameter and now if we execute this particular function uh, and run this application we should see a new user added to the mysql database and for adding the users we are not going to use a query command instead we are going to use and execute command, which is also a extension method from Dapper. And let me get rid of this line because this is not needed. And let's run this application now. And we can see it executed properly. And now if we go here, and here if we re-execute this command, we can see user3 is added to the database. Next, let's try to update a particular user. So let's say we want to update the name of the user. So we will provide the name, and we need to provide the ID for that we can say identifier is four so we have to update the one we just added we don't need the address anymore and here we can say update user set name is equal to at the rate name and here we can say where id is equal to at the rate identifier and for name let's change it to some new name now let's execute this function and this should update the user with ID four, and this should be some new name. So let's execute. 
and once executed we can go back to the query analyzer for mysql and if we run now we can see some new name is created next let's go back and let's do the final operation which is delete and let's say we want to delete the newly created id or newly created user record so we can say delete from user where id is equal to identifier that's about it and if we execute the command now and now if we go back here in the query studio and execute we can see the user 3 or the identifier 4 is now deleted from the database next what we can do is we can create a new store procedure for deleting a an user so now we can show you how we can delete user using store procedure and same is going to be true for create or update so we just, uh, just going to create a delete user store procedure which just delete from user based on an id and let's execute this so it created the store procedure and similarly we can have a create user also and for create user we're going to have name which is barker 100 email barker of 100 and so for name we have to say input name input email and input address and this is worker of 500 and here we can just go ahead and say insert into users users set name email address and then what we can do is we can say values input name input mail input address that's pretty much it and now let's execute this so this has created the create user so first let's use the create user to create a new data so here we can say create user and that parameter and then here we are going to provide the command type so we can say command type so go to command type dot store procedure and for the inputs we are going to have input name which is a string and here we can say name 3 similarly we are going to have input email which is going to name 3 email.com and finally we are going to have put address 789 straight so now let's try out the create user first the create user store procedure and it should work same as the create statement we executed before so now if we go back here and we execute this we can see the name 3 is added to the database and now let's use the delete user to delete the user so we can say delete user and here we can just give the identifier and the identifier is going to be 5 this time and this is going to be in 32 and we don't need this too 
and now if we execute this this is going to execute the delete store procedure and it should delete the newly created user so if we go here execute this we can see the user is deleted so you can see how easy it is to use Dapper with MySQL driver to create, delete, and update user both using inline query as well as store procedure. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. It's a very short video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and if you are getting value from this channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.